Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to some more F1 Manager 2022 and another part of our Aston Martin career mode. Today we are back in the midst of Season 3 and taking part in a race that's been exciting in the past, the Miami Grand Prix. Of course, last year uh, we managed to, to win the race, the year before it looked like we were going to score our first ever points. It didn't quite turn out that way. But this year, I think we've got a, a really cracking chance. After a disaster last time out in Imola, it was a real awful race for us. Um, and Pierre Gasly, the double pit stop, that would, that's going to be one that uh, haunts me for a long, long time. But hopefully we can get back on track today because what it has meant is that the, the Drivers' Championship has, has swung in favour of Max Verstappen. Of course, Fernando Alonso had uh, lots of mistakes and, and a big crash as well in that Grand Prix uh, and a shame for him that he didn't actually score any points so the world champion nine points behind Max Verstappen in the championship uh, Carlos Sainz is eight points behind Fernando and Pierre Gasly Charles Leclerc Lewis Hamilton even Sergio Perez and George Russell less still very much in the championship picture 38 points separating the top eight drivers so it could be anybody's game it really could be uh, but first things first we need to have a little look at fixing the car and i've decided from sort of this episode on lots of people have asked uh to basically reduce the webcam or turn the webcam off so they can see everything on the screen so i'll do me a little intro uh, and whatever with the webcam on and then uh, we'll get straight into the action so you shouldn't miss anything now um car 2 is missing a chassis so we could do with getting another one of them made so I believe we've probably all... Well, we can't have, can we? Yeah, let's get three of those made. That's fine. Uh, of course, that gearbox it is pretty knackered as well for uh, Fernando. So we'll get that changed. We'll pop on a, a, a new gearbox. And I think we are going to have to go with a new engine as well. Yeah, everything got a little bit broken in that accident for him. Uh, let's just have a little look at our car performance. You can see we're, we're already sort of not at our best with this. Uh, top speed 20th, for instance. Uh, low speed 4th. High speed 8th. Yeah, really, really struggling uh, with, with parts of the car. And... Yeah, I think we could we could well be in a in a real quandary going forward. Um, but yeah, let's head into the car parts development. We have got a couple of projects going. Uh, new chassis is on its way. Um, with that in mind about top speed, let's have a little look at some rear wing improvements. So we're gonna try and go towards a bit of drag reduction. Um, a little bit less focus on these areas. Yep, try and get those up a little bit. That seems fine to me. And that will help us out massively. With our car. Okay. Um, I guess maybe why they were 20th was because we don't have a chassis. So maybe that's what that was about. So six engineers on the car. We'll get that rushed through in 27 days. And that should be on the car. Looking good. Right then. Uh, what do we want to do? Let's head to the underfloor. Because we have a brand new underfloor design. So we'll get uh, a few of those made. So we'll do a couple of... Oh, we could, could do rushed ones, couldn't we? Yep, that's fine. So they'll be on the car ready for the next Grand Prix. Perfect. Uh, Okie dokie then. Right, uh, into the inbox, so a difficult race. This weekend, we're disappointed with how the team performed. Uh, the design is complete, and Fernando Alonso officially has low morale, which, yeah, is a, a bit of a problem, really. Um, yeah, nine wins last season, very, very good for him. But yeah, morale is low. 
but ultimately we are looking for his replacement this season. Uh, looks like Piastri has a development point, so let's up that. And he is now an 80 rated driver. Fantastic. Okay, let's have a look at our staff. Anybody with development points? No. Okay, right, let's continue on then. Helipad is in poor condition, so we're, we are actually going to have to refurbish this. Leaking money already. Low stock on the suspension. I feel like uh, I should have already made one of those, but it is what it is. I feel like we're just losing car parts so of nowhere. Right, continuing on. So the side pods design is complete. So let's get that manufactured. We got two emergency ones and then um, manufacture a couple more. Normally. Perfect. Right, uh, change. We'll install it on car one and car two. And that should give us. a little performance boost. Tiny, but <laughs> it'll do, it'll do. Every little helps. Okay, helipad refurbishment is complete. Cool. ATR period starts today, so we've got the new ATR period. Um, they still have high confidence in our leadership, which I've got to say I'm a, a little bit surprised at. Um, yeah, but I guess if you look at last season's objectives, we did complete that. Um, but yeah, this season we we probably will struggle. We probably will. Okay, uh, financial report, that's all looking good. Car's looking fine for now. Race prep. Okay, right. Has that chassis been built? Yes. Yes, it has. Okay. Cool. Right, so I'm hoping now car two is actually okay. Yep. Fine. Right. Okie dokie then. Let's get ourselves into the Grand Prix. Uh, we're going to guarantee both, both drivers are finishing in the top ten. And we will also say both drivers in Q2. Um, faster slap. Yeah. Okay, right. Let's get ourselves into the action then. For the Miami Grand Prix. We're in the state of year-round summer. It's the Miami Grand Prix, and we're here in Florida at the Miami International Autodrome. The streets of Miami Gardens will come alive with the roar of racing, and the excitement is only just beginning. Spectacle is the name of the game here in Miami, with a stadium at the heart of this track. With long straights and S-bends, not unlike Suzuka's Sector 1, proper ERS management is sure to give drivers an edge towards victory. We might still be early in the season, but that doesn't mean we can sit back and relax. Everything is up for grabs, and nothing is certain at this stage. Let the weekend begin! Right then, uh, ready for the Miami Grand Prix. Uh, looks like it's going to be heavy rain for the race, so it looks like we're going to have an exciting time of it, like in Season 1. So I'll see you guys for qualifying, and uh, hopefully practice will go well. Well, this is a new screen. Not a great start of the weekend. Looks like Piastri has binned it and has absolutely ruined the car. Um, so did he DNF from the session? That's what I want to know. Uh, I'm really not sure. But let's just have a little look at this. So, I mean, all of this has died pretty much. Front wing... I mean, they said they've replaced it, so 
And let's get him a new engine in as well. We're going to have to take um, an engine penalty fairly fairly soon, I think. If we're going to manage to do anything decent this season. So it looks like looks like he's made a big mistake. Yeah, something a, a bit different for you. Well, well, well. Intermediate tyres in P3. And uh, Fernando Alonso has qualified or went quickest in that session. Alpine looking pretty good. Uh, Mercedes and Ferrari certainly dropping off the pace. But again, the top 10 separated by six tenths of a second. And, you know, <laughs> people behind that aren't too far behind. The whole field is separated by 1.3. So it is a really, really close season. We've got Pierre Gasly on 100% a set of confidence. We've got uh, Alonso on 94%. It's going to be a good weekend, I'm confident. So let's uh, get ourselves into Q1. We'll make sure that they uh, are using their, uh, the same tyres in Q1 and Q2. So let's get into it. Fifth and ninth for those two there. It's intermediate conditions in Session 2. So we will simulate Session 2. And hopefully we will get through. Yep, fourth and eighth. And now... We'll get ourselves ready for the final session. So we do have one set of new tyres. Um, we are going to go for you. Well, no, we're just going to go for one run, I think, on the, the soft tyres. Because we're not expecting to use them tomorrow in the race. So we'll uh, run it all the way down to the end of Q3. And then we'll get going. Oh, hang on a second. Just double check the weather. Yeah, it looks fine. So that's okay. So we'll let them uh, sort themselves out. Any shocks in Q3? Certainly doesn't look like it. The five teams you'd expect up there. Red Bull looking rapid at the moment. And Max Verstappen goes on pole. Ocon goes second again. And he did a very good job in Imola, didn't he? He got onto the podium, so... Looking forward to seeing how he gets on this weekend, because Alpine could really be a threat in the next few races, if they keep developing. Right, so let's, let's get Gasly out there first, and then uh, Fernando Alonso can follow him, and we'll hop on board with Pierre Gasly. As he starts his flying lap. So here we go then. Pierre Gasly on brand new soft tyres. 100% set of confidence. This should be a great chance at pole position. So here we go. Let's see how he gets on here. As he goes into turn one. And remember we're looking for something in the, the mid 28th. But it's going to be uh, Max Verstappen that sets the first lap out there let's see how Gasly gets on in sector one it's of course going to be green but my question is can he get purple comes through what's it going to be oh it's not it's not saying hey there you go 33 0 that is a purple time in sector one what about Fernando Alonso he's coming through now 33 0 as well not too far off the pace here comes Max Verstappen. He's going to come up to the line. What's he going to manage? Is he going to improve it all? As he comes up to the line, what's it going to be? Mm, no improvement. What about Ocon? Vettel is going through, by the way. Vettel doesn't improve. Ocon does not improve. Hamilton is not far off going over the line. What about Leclerc? He comes over the line doesn't improve nobody improving here and i'm not surprised because none of them are on nice tires here so pierre gasly coming around the final corner we're looking for him to potentially head on to pole position he comes through and it's a 28-6 that is pole position and what a lap that is can fernando alonso match him for that a 28-7 goes up into p2 and all of a sudden we manage to go uh, one two in qualifying so it's Pierre Gasly on pole and Fernando Alonso in second we've pulled it out right at the death there uh, Max Verstappen was uh, pretty quick 
there in P3, Ocon P4, then Perez 5th, uh, all the way down to Sebastian Vettel. Six tenths of a second separating the top 10. Here we are, folks. We're back for another day of scintillating F1 action. It's race day. We saw a magnificent display of talent from Aston Martin during qualifying. This is as good a grid for them as anyone can hope for. This weekend, Red Bull displayed promise during qualifying. Now they need to capitalize on their grid position and get a good race under their belts. And the sun is shining bright here today. This is perfect weather for teams and drivers alike to show us what they're capable of. 57 laps await our competitors here in Miami. So may the best driver win. Okay then, right. Uh, oh, it, it is going to be raining. Um, but when? That is sort of the question. Uh, I'm looking at this. And it's going to be heavy rain in the second half of the race. So we definitely want to be on the hard tyres early on. Perhaps moving on to, to mediums. Or we could go for a double medium strat. Uh, let's just have a little check of what compounds I've got available. So we do have two, two lots of medium tyres. So we could go for the double medium strat. Which would get us into the, the sort of rainy part of the race. I mean, what, what would a soft medium look like? No, I don't like that. And then a new stint onto the hard if it doesn't rain. Go for hards a little bit later on. That's looking pretty good to me. Yeah, I, I like that. So Pierre Gasly from pole position, he's going to go medium, medium, hard. Uh, Fernando Alonso, I, I honestly think the same. I think it's a, I think it's a good strat because it means we're we're being quick. We've got good good tyres for the first half of the race, and then we can go for it a little bit more later on. So uh, lap fifteen, lap sixteen. Lap 30, lap 32, that's all looking good to me. Right, let's uh, hoy a little bit more fuel into it. Uh, I'm going to be aggressive from the get-go. I think we're going to actually deploy for both drivers um, instead of overtake this time. So, uh, let's get ourselves into the race, and here we go. We have beautiful blue skies overhead as the drivers line up on the grid. And there we have Pierre Gasly. P1 today. Let's see if they can take advantage of that position. And here's Alonso, the team's second driver. A second place start for them today. They're in with a real chance. And we're just moments away now. And this is it, the Miami Grand Prix. Here we go then. And it's lights out, and away we lights go. Lights out, away we go then, and a great start off the grid for Max Verstappen and Fernando Alonso, who looks like he's going to have a go around the outside of turn one, doesn't quite manage it, and Pierre Gasly stays in the lead of this Grand Prix. Fernando Alonso is in second as Max Verstappen is following through in third, Ocon fourth. We've then got Perez in 5th, Leclerc 6th, Hamilton 7th, Russell 8th, Sainz 9th and uh, rounded out the top 10 is Sebastian Vettel but Gasly off to a, a decent start of course difficult to make manoeuvres on a very very short run down to turn 1 but now these two absolutely flying away and there we're looking to build a lead in this opening stint um, most people on the hard tyres looking like they're going to try and take it into the wet weather periods of this race uh, where of course of a slightly different opinion of well why don't we try and be fast early on try and build that lead and then hope that the rain comes essentially and if it doesn't well we've got a plan B of using the hard tyres so let's keep attacking Pierre Gasly leading the race we've got Fernando Alonso in second we've now built that lead 
over Max Verstappen to over a second and a half now as we come round to finish the end of lap one of this Grand Prix it has been an awesome start to this race for Pierre Gasly he's managed to control the pace ahead of Fernando Alonso we could be on for a real duel between these two in this race I'm hoping no mistakes from Fernando today because if there is a big mistake where's he going but straight into the, into the back of Pierre Gasly but uh, what a start to this race deploying the ERS making sure that we've got an excellent gap by the end of lap 2 and this is exactly what we needed and this is what we were expecting on these new medium tyres we know that the guys on the hards are, are not going to be able to, to cope with this sort of pace so let's see then as uh, Ocon having a look straight away at Max Verstappen is he going to go around the outside no he doesn't Max Verstappen still leading the way there Perez now in P5 has dropped about a second behind Ocon so it looks like Ocon and Verstappen are going to be battling again potentially all race long 2.6 seconds is now the gap I'm just going to let them deploy the rest of their ERS as they see fit and now it's going to be neutral time to try and make sure that we're looking after that we're utilising the the fuel mix early on pushing the engine hard and there we go has been enabled. So DRS enabled this lap we're expecting through the corners that we're definitely going to be making some time. Meanwhile, Ocon is following Verstappen. Not many changes out there as it stands, but we're going to have our first taste of DRS, and it's going to be Fernando Alonso having a little look at Pierre Gasly. But there's a long, long way to go in this race, and we know that. And what we need to try and do is, is get as close to a pit stop ahead as we can there we go Fernando Alonso with DRS is he going to have a look no doesn't manage it but now we've brought that gap open to 4 seconds Ocon still following Max Verstappen not managing it so far slow sections of this track now this is going to be a good chance for Fernando Alonso. Let's hop on board with him. And let's see what he can do here. He's going to have DRS. He's closing in on Pierre Gasly. Is he going to swing to the right-hand side? He is, but I don't think he's quite got enough momentum this time. But he has DRS again and he's going to have it all the way up to, towards turn one here. And he is going to have a little look down the inside. Is he? Ooh, they're getting pretty close. Pretty tasty at the moment between these two. We're going to zoom it on a little bit because we're expecting a lot of change of position. And potentially this is going to be the, the first change in position. Fernando Alonso is going to have DRS again here. He's right behind uh, Pierre Gasly. But he's not managing it at the moment. Still struggling. So 4.5 seconds the gap between Max Verstappen and Fernando Alonso currently. It need to be... Pushing on these two as Ocon now moves into P3 in this race. And both him and Verstappen are pulling away as Fernando Alonso very, very close to taking the lead of the race there. Let's see. This is going to be the time. Fernando Alonso potentially going down the outside. Pierre Gasly gets his elbows out though and forces Alonso around. Alonso's going to have another good run down into turn one here. DRS open. He's got the inside line. Surely Fernando Alonso now takes the lead. And that's exactly what he does. Good move from Fernando. And Pierre Gasly now looking to 
stay with Alonso and get back past. So let's see if he manages it here. Yep, Gasly back through. And then we're expecting Alonso back through here. And there you go. So it's it's going to be a bit of a yo-yo effect, but we are slowly but surely pulling away from those guys behind. And ultimately what we want to do is keep these medium tyres as fresh as we can. Let's see how the, the rest of the field are doing. Okay. So it looks like they're conserving their tyres. Trying to essentially turn it into a one-stop. But we know with the, the rain it's not going to quite turn out like that. So. Let's have a little look. Are we still... Yeah, we're still expecting a lot of rain in this race. And to be honest, because it's heavy rain, I'm tempted to go straight for the, the wet tyres as soon as rain drops out there. But now nearly nine seconds ahead of Esteban Ocon as the pit window has been entered for Pierre Gasly. It's going to be whoever can be in the lead in a few laps time they will get the first choice of pit stop and Fernando Alonso enters his pit window now. I honestly think we might have a chance of coming out in front of Sainz and Vettel after the pit stop so the optimal pit stop is going to be in the lapse time. And these two are just so evenly matched. So here we go then. So I think Fernando Alonso is going to be the one to come in this lap. So he's entered this lap ahead. So now we'll tell him to attack a little bit. Yeah, Gasly needs to look after the tyres a little more. So he's got an extra lap to do. Well, is Pierre Gasly going to have a look? Is he going to change our plans here? Not quite. Fernando trying to step on it a little bit with these tyres. Half expecting Pierre Gasly to make the move here. So this is pretty good. Here we go then. Pierre Gasly with DRS, he's closing in on Fernando Alonso, I don't think he's going to quite have enough to get there though. And now Fernando Alonso is going to be coming into the pits this lap, so let's watch him. Copy. So he does that. Okay, copy. And now Pierre is going to attack. He's going to come in, he's going to put the medium tyres on. Okay, so box. So Fernando Alonso comes in. Where's he going to drop down to here? Come on, mate. Okay. He's off. Can he come out ahead of Vettel and Sainz? That would be ideal. He could manage that. It's going to be pretty close, but he is ahead. He is ahead. And that is exactly what we wanted to do. So Fernando Alonso back out in front of Vettel and the question will be can Pierre Gasly come out ahead of them and 
do we... Well, let's have a little look. Is he... Is he gaining on Vettel? He is gaining on Vettel. Yep. Back it out. Back it out. So we'll see what we can yep. do here. It's Fernando's man should get more than a second ahead of Vettel yeah, now. So Pierre Gasly's okay, in. He's of course moving on to brand new medium tyres. That's Fernando now. Closing in on Charles Leclerc. And this should be a, a, a fairly straightforward pass into turn one. Fernando Alonso waltzes around the outside. And there you go, Pierre Gasly is comfortably yeah, ahead of the competition. And Fernando has come out comfortably ahead as well, which is like the, the right he gets after being in the lead when we came into the pit windows. And now what we've got to do is try and work our way back through the field. And we've got to take these tyres to the, the wet weather, essentially, because we may well have lost a pit stop because those guys, I don't think... Well, they might be in before the wet weather. And that would, that would sort of be a disaster if that happened. But yeah, what we can't afford to happen is get caught in this traffic, so... We're going to deploy the ERS. We're hopefully going to get past plenty of these guys here. We're going to tell them to drive in clear air. Yeah, we might be able to go down the inside of George Russell here. Yeah, that's a good good move. Really well executed. Now has a chance on Lewis Hamilton. So we're low on battery at the moment. Copy. He goes down the inside. That's yeah, pretty that's good. Nice. Is he going to be able to make this stick? This is an awesome move. If he can keep it going, he's stay, staying in there with Lewis Hamilton and Fernando Alonso. What a move that is. He's up to P3 now. This is awesome work. Come on. And Vettel has spun at turn one. Such an awesome job, mate. Now, Pierre Gasly. Going to do something similar with him at the end of this lap, but that is awesome. Fernando Alonso managing to overtake three drivers very, very quickly indeed. Um, well, can Fernando defend? Oh, what? Whoa, what's up to Gasly? How's he ended up behind Leclerc? Full concentration, anything can happen still. Not sure about that. I don't know how that happened. Oh, and Ferrari just gained a place. So here we go. Well, that was a bit cheeky, I think, from from Charles. Well, DRS enabled, is he going to be able to throw it round the outside? So the rate yeah, that we good. expect to hit will be light. Copy. So wet weather predicted fairly soon. Fernando Alonso did a better job of getting through the traffic, so now Pierre's in a little bit of trouble. When is that rain coming? When are we expecting that to come? I'm expecting it in about three laps time. It might be time to absolutely go mental on these tyres. It's coming a little bit earlier than we thought. So let's utilise these tyres as much as we can please.
So let's see how quickly we can catch up to Ocon and Verstappen here. Pretty quickly, I'm hoping. Meanwhile, Pierre very much struggling with this. I think we need to harvest the energy now. I will have a recharge on, please. Yeah. So you can see how quickly Fernando is catching up to these guys. So 3.1 seconds now for Fernando Alonso. Well, let's zoom that forward a little bit. Rain is imminent. Okay, come Rain has started. Rain has started. Don't like rain. Okay. Oh, it's Gasly on track. Yeah, let's keep going then. Might be able to double stack them. Just keep the pressure on. You can do this. I think we want to go wet tyres now. Box, 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 box. Copy, box, box. So track is now damp. Which means DRS is not enabled. So focus on just bring your tire temperatures back under control for the moment. Yeah, copy. So Fernando Alonso into the pit lane. Okay, pit lane. Copy. And he gets it down to the limit out on lap 21 of this Grand Prix. We're going to be coming into the pits. Pierre Gasly is coming into the pits as well. Should be able to double stack fairly easily. Get away, come on. Curry up. Yep, he is away. So Alonso away. And now Gasly coming in. That's a nice, nice stop. And what are other people on? Oh my. Yeah, they've gone on to wets. They've gone on to wets. Right. So let's let's just have a look at this. Yeah, we need to go standard. So in theory, these will last till the end of the Grand Prix. Need to get him just off. Just look after these Look after it. Yeah. Let's just recharge off whenever you need it. Yeah. So we've got uh, the top three really struggling on dry tyres. How quickly can we get past these guys? Come on. Go for it. Oh, this is really frustrating. So there we go, Fernando Alonso is through. But Ocon is leading this race. He's past Perez as well. Play there. They've moved up a place. Now come on. Needs to try and get past Max Verstappen now. And it looks like that's what he's looks about like to Aston do. Martin Perfect. Just gained a race position. Right, now then. That's what we needed to see. Fernando Alonso now leads. 
Max was stepping into turn one. Pierre Gasly is up to P4, so he's gained a few positions there. I'd like to see what he's just managed it uh, there. Going. So Pierre Gasly, P4. But... This is pretty crazy, isn't it? Leclerc in the pit lane now. So Fernando Alonso now up to second. Pierre Gasly leading Lewis Hamilton. Well, Hamilton will be looking to make an impact very, very soon. Here comes Verstappen now. Having a look at Fernando Alonso. Three seconds is the gap. But of course no DRS. So time to zoom it forward. Can Fernando Alonso catch up to Esteban Ocon? Yep, track condition has changed to wet now. So everybody needs to be on wet tyres. A few people did go intermediate. Norris, Bottas, Hulkenberg and Stroll. They'll of course have to come into the pits at some point. But Alonso slowly but surely catching up to Esteban Ocon. Two seconds the gap now. And tyres wise. Yeah, I think they are trying to look after them a little bit more and Gasly 3.3 behind Verstappen so we are very much the two quickest cars out there as it stands but Esteban Ocon lead in the way and it's going to take something special to be able to get past him on lap 25 of 57 Zoom it forward a little bit more until Alonso is right behind Ocon. Now, the traffic could cause some options, uh, cause some problems. You can see we're going to both follow through Nico Hulkenberg here. Let me do that very easily and now right behind his former teammate is Fernando Alonso here I'm actually going to harvest some energy and just charge the pack Copy. oh Max Verstappen's in the pits what are they doing they're changing on intermediate tyres in Hamilton's in as well intermediates Perez is in, Russell's in, Leclerc's in. This is surely stupid. Well, I have no idea what that's about. They've come in, they've put on the intermediate tyres. Well, well I've no idea that's baffled me that that has completely baffled me Ocon staying out there and I think rightfully so and now all of a sudden Alonso losing a little bit of time I know he's harvesting but I think it's worth it get a full tank and then then he can properly go for it in a few laps time there's a crash uh, out there like quite a big accident yeah so what's happened we have another yellow flag. Trying to see who's out there that has crashed. Okay. We've just had a crash on the track. Mick Schumacher, which I think he's okay. ERS fully charged for Fernando Alonso. Let's get Pierre Gasly fully charged as well. Although he is pretty much Stop the charge. fully charged. Copy. I'm actually not able to make as much of an impact on this lead as Fernando Alonso has made. But Pierre Gasly in a very good P3 at the moment. And we're gaining time on, on Max Verstappen. Oh no, Verstappen is actually closing in, so 
Yeah, Ocon's in. So everybody's uh, gone for the intermediate tyres now. Which is very, very interesting. And how quick are they compared to us? Not bad, but it's not... It's not critical, I don't think, to be on those intermediates, because there is heavier rain coming. Fernando Alonso lapping a few of the guys. We've, of course, got Pierre Gasly as a bit of a blocker as well. So I'm actually going to zoom it on a little bit now. We're going to keep Fernando Alonso out there doing his thing. And somebody's crashed. Somebody has crashed. Is it going to be a safety car? Uh, I I'm not sure. It's Schumacher again. Copy. Yeah, Mick Schumacher again in the pits. Everybody except us on the intermediate tyres. And to be fair, Ocon is going quicker. He's now going a lot quicker. I think that heavier rain is coming, and it's coming very, very shortly. And the intermediate tyres will not help, so I think we need to say hold back the cars behind for Pierre Gasly. Let's try and hold up Esteban Ocon. And let's give Fernando Alonso as much of a lead as we can. It's a definitely quick error at this phase of the Grand Prix. Let's see how well Pierre Gasly is doing to hold Ocon behind here. There's no DRS, he's just making his car as big as he can here. He's now opened up a nice 10 second gap for Fernando Alonso. We're not far away from the bad weather coming. But Ocon is through now. Well, That's I think Pierre might, from might well struggle. Well, Fernando Alonso now being closed down. And... Yeah, we're waiting for this heavy rain. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. And, well, there you go. Fernando Alonso's now being overtaken. Look at the train for Pierre Gasly. Let's do what you can. And Ocon is running away now. But you can see how heavy the rain's getting. And all of a sudden, I think we're going to see everybody dive into the pits again here. But the question is, is Ocon going to come out ahead of Gasly? Because now our tyres are going to be working well again. Is Ocon going to come into the pits? No, nope, not this lap. Fernando Alonso following him. And you can see, look at this train. Look at this train. This is ridiculous. A lot of them are lapped cars, though, to be fair. But they're trying their best to get past Pierre Gasly. And now this is going to go above four again. So it's pretty crazy. But now Fernando Alonso, I think, is going to start being quicker than Ocon again. Sainz is in the pits. So Sainz is going to be the first to be in and onto the... Wet tyres, what about Ricardo? Is he going to go as well? Yep, so people are coming back into the pits now. It's amazing, isn't it? Now, I feel like they're going to be pretty much like that till the end of the Grand Prix. So Fernando Alonso, he's going to be making a move for the lead again. And you can see Gasly has caught up. Gasly into second Aston position Martin and... Great play there. 
They've moved up well, a place. The only thing that I'll say is that they are going to be on brand new wet tyres. We're still on the old ones. They're surely going to have some impact. But uh, yeah, they will be very annoyed at themselves. Now we need to, to watch this because it is going to go down. But is it going to go below four as Fernando Alonso laps Sebastian Vettel? We were battling Vettel early in this Grand Prix. It's not went right for him since then. But you can see Ocon is clearly closing in. It's made about three seconds in the last couple of laps. And now is that going to go below? Below four. No, it started raining heavy again. Well, I think it's time to properly zoom it on. We'll keep an eye on Ocon's gap with Gasly, but I'm not sure there's going to be much for us to do here. I don't think we can defend with too much here. As for the Gasly, we anticipate the intermediate conditions. going to rain pretty heavily again at the end of this race but I think Gasly's going to struggle more than Fernando so we're going to bring in Pierre Gasly okay, we're, boxing this lap. Box this we're going to be attacking and this is a big risk with Gasly oh Ocon's in as well well, that's very interesting, isn't it? So it looks like people are in anticipating the the intermediate tyres. You can see everybody's out in the pit lane. So Fernando Alonso out there. Luckily, he's got a nice big gap. What's happened? Oh, he's behind Ocon. What happened there? Right then. It's on. So I think Fernando, he's, he's got enough. He's got enough to, to come in and get some fresh tyres on. Yeah, but Gasly, 1.6 behind. What are we thinking with these in as? Yep, they will be fine. So we're going to attack to the end on them. We're going to actually deploy... Let's get Fernando Alonso in. Where's he going to come back out here? So, Fernando into the pits. He's leaving the pit lane now. And here goes Pierre Gasly going down the inside of Ocon. Oh, that was close. Couldn't quite pull it off there. Pierre Gasly closing in on Ocon in these final five laps of the race. I'm a little bit concerned about his ERS, so we're going to drop him back down to neutral. But he is within about half a second of Ocon. Uh, Fernando Alonso about to lap his teammate Sebastian Vettel. So hopefully he should be able to get through. And there you go, blue flags nicely out of the way. So I think Alonso very much on for the race win here. 
What about Pierre Gasly? Can he get past Sebastian Vettel? That's going to be the question over these next few laps. He's closing in, but just not quite getting close enough without DRS. It's going to be tricky. I think we're going to have to harvest a little bit and then really go for it on the last couple of laps. So here we go. Pierre Gasly with an initial chance here. Is he going to have a little look down the inside? He is, but not, not quite close enough this lap. So we're going to try and recharge. And we'll zoom it forward. And hopefully he can stay within that sort of half second range of Esteban Ocon. Fernando Alonso, meanwhile, still working his way through the traffic, has done that successfully. We're going to have four laps to go. We need Gasly pretty much on a full recharge here. But Ocon has done a terrific job this race. He's been so much quicker than Verstappen and Hamilton. Very, very impressive. Nearly a full tank of ERS for Gasly to really push in the final two laps. ERS is fully charged now. And it is going to get more and more rainy over the, <laughs> over the next two laps. So this is going to be treacherous. So, this could be his final chances down this straight for Pierre Gasly. So, here we go. ERS charge on. And he here he is. Pulled to the left-hand side. Is he going to be able to have a go at Ocon? He seems to have a bit more speed. He's got the inside line. Can he do it? Two more yes, he can. So, Pierre Gasly up into second place now. And you can hear the crowd roaring. Simply lovely. Come on, mate. And now Pierre Gasly up in the second. We'll keep deploying. We'll keep attacking. And try and get more than a second in front. But it's gone over four millimetres of rainfall on the track now. Is anybody on the wet? No, they're not. I don't think anybody will risk coming in because there's not a long so, time on, left. Bring your tire temperatures back under control for the moment. Right, so Pierre Gasly now seems to have second place in the bag here. Fernando Alonso still attacking out top. I think we can go standard now. Just start looking after the car. With Fernando, there's not really any chance of Gasly closing in that 14 seconds. Uh, we are going to drop it back down to standard with Gasly as well. We're going to go neutral and hopefully back Ocon down. won't it make it past. Okay. So. So think about the lift off. One final lap to go okay. for Fernando Alonso. He's going to be making some more overtakes through the blue flags. Fernando Alonso now coming round. He's going to be starting his final lap of the Grand Prix. He needs to overtake, I think that's probably, yeah, Lance Stroll, who's a long way behind Nico Hulkenberg, by the way. Vindicates me decision a few years ago to bin off Stroll for Hulkenberg. But now final lap of the race for Fernando Alonso. He has been the better of the two drivers today. He did have the pace in the first stint to get ahead of Gasly he came into the pits managed to make his way through the traffic quicker and that's basically opened up a chance to, to get 25 points on the board he's going to gain 13 points or 14 points with the fastest lap on uh, championship leader Max Verstappen so Alonso the world champion will be taking over the lead of the championship once again as long as he keeps it clean. For Esteban Ocon has had a brilliant couple of races, finished on the podium in Imola, and I think we'll be finishing on the podium again today, but you can see that the pace has really slowed down with everybody now. But Ocon, all of a sudden, starting to close in on Pierre Gasly. What's going on here? Is Pierre Gasly going to be no under pressure so as the rain stopped has there. stopped on track? It's going to be drying up. And, well, I suppose Ocon with the newer tyres is going to have a better chance here. 
Pierre Gasly, is is he going to be able to, to stay in front? I think everybody's just really struggling out there now. It's just absolutely chucked it down. And Pierre needs to get past Vettel. I mean, is Vettel holding up Pierre Gasly here? And Vettel gets out of the way nicely. And there we go. I think he is going to be fine. Fernando Alonso, meanwhile, comes round the final corner. And he's going to come through and win the Miami Grand Prix. Absolutely brilliant from the three-time world champion. He's over the line. And that is his second victory of the season. Here comes Pierre Gasly then round the final corner. He's going to finish in second. And that is absolutely brilliant for the team. A 1-2. And Ocon finishes in third. Well ahead of Max Verstappen in P4. So he's going to come round comfortably P4. Lewis Hamilton is in P5. And then we've got Carlos Sainz in sixth. Just ahead of Sergio Perez. Leclerc down in eighth. Then Russell is following him in ninth and Daniel Ricciardo is going to round out the top ten or is he because Kevin Magnussen is right on the back of him so this is going to be a pretty intense battle up to the finish line we've got Ricciardo leading the way and he's heading towards the final corner if there was DRS here we'd be on for a grandstand finish but I don't think it's going to happen they're just finding it too slippy out there on these old intermediate tyres so Daniel Ricciardo is going to come round and he's going to grab his first points for Alfa Romeo and what a season he is having so far he comes up to the line he's going to finish 10th for his new team and Kevin Magnussen finishes 11th there and then it's pretty spread out to Albon and uh, Lando Norris um, and Valtteri Bottas in the McLaren he's just about to come over the line a long long way down in 17th place Nico Hulkenberg uh, He's coming around the final corner now. He comes up to the line. He finishes 18th. Uh, and here goes Lando Norris. Again, a long way down in 13th place. So a difficult start of the season for McLaren. But uh, a 1-2 for us today. And that is a fantastic result. What a flawless weekend here from Fernando Alonso. His team must be proud. Everyone involved in Formula One dreams of seeing their driver up there on the podium. And the talented veteran rounds off another great drive, adding to his impressive F1 podium tally. Well, it's becoming a, a regular sight, isn't it? Fernando Alonso on that top step. He just seems to take every opportunity that comes in front of him. He had a sloppy a race in Imola, but he's bounced drivers. back in the Each perfect way, and he will be taking the lead in the championship. Today, Aston Martin demonstrated that they can go very far indeed. Just a really solid showing out there, which is exactly what they needed. After an intense weekend, the team ends in first place in the constructor standings. Formula One will be back to Europe for the next round, on the shores of the Mediterranean, with some heated competition to look forward to in Spain. So there you have it then. Maximum points from the Miami Grand Prix. 26 for Fernando Alonso uh, as he got fastest lap before the rain fell, of course. Uh, and 18 for Pierre Gasly. Meaning in the driver's standings, uh, Fernando Alonso takes over the lead. Five points ahead of Max Verstappen. We've got Pierre Gasly in third on 64 points. Signs not too far behind him. Um, but as I say, I think everybody down to, to really... I mean, maybe even Esteban Ocon is... Potentially in the, the title fight. I suppose it would depend if Alpine can keep up the development race. But uh, we are leading the way in the constructors. We've increased that lead now to 29 points over Red Bull, uh, who are 14 points ahead of Ferrari, and then Mercedes rounding out the top four. Let's have a little look at development before the end of the episode. 
Uh, Pierre Gasly's got himself a development point. Fernando Alonso has as well. And has Pierre uh, Oscar Piastri? Not quite. Okay. Uh, and we make £4.8 million, pound, uh, or sorry, £4.6 million pound in profit at this Grand Prix. And the Team Hub upgrade has been finished. And our new design for the chassis has been completed as well. Uh, manufacturing for the underfloor all sorted out and we are ready for a return to Barcelona in the next episode it was an incredible Grand Prix last year fighting all the way to the line between Pierre Gasly and, and Fernando Alonso I th really expecting the same uh, in the next episode tomorrow for the, the Spanish Grand Prix so if you have enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up down below subscribe for plenty more F1 Manager content, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.